guys, today we have a quick ab set. It's going to be perfect to add on to either a HIIT workout or an outdoor runner walk you might have done. Um, weights are optional. I've just got five pounds here. If you want to do body weight only, that's great too. Uh, we'll go through four different exercises. We'll, each, we'll do each one twice and be on your way. All right, the first move, we're just going to do a little lunge twist. So we're just going to alternate our legs, stepping back, pull that knee up, which activate, activates that hip flexor, and then just twist over that knee that's come up and back into the lunge, good. Step it forward, same thing other side. Little step back, twist, and back to standing, good. So keeping the chest super lifted, letting that little twist happen at the top, belly button super pulled in. Good job, picking up the pace just a little bit, as much as we can still maintain that form. Good job. We're gonna be doing some non-traditional ab exercises just to keep it interesting. Good work. Getting a little bit of lower body work in here too. Nice, you can take that lunge even a little bit deeper if you wanna fire those glutes. Good work. A couple more each side, hopefully feeling that heart rate pick up a little bit. Good, let's do it two more times each side. Here we go, there's one. And finishing up here. Last one, good work. Next move, we've got a standing crunch with or without the weight. We're just gonna go halfway, our time, split our time between the two sides. Reach that weight up. We're just gonna pull the knee and elbow together. Little squeeze, meeting the knee and the elbow about halfway. So bringing the knee up as high as you can and letting that elbow just kinda come to meet it. Good, feel that squeeze. Again, working hip flexors, activating those lower abdominals. You're doing great. Obviously you can do this workout completely barefoot. I just happen to be outside so I've got my shoes on. Do whatever you're comfortable with. Good work. Again, we're calling this an ab workout, but you've got a lot of compound full body movement in there as well. Good work. Awesome job, give me five more right here. And four, three, two, one. Right into that other side. Just take the weight up overhead, again, with or without the weight. As long as you're lifting that knee and activating that little oblique with that side crunch, we're doing the work. Good job. Keeping the chest lifted, lowering that leg down with control. So instead of letting it just fall down, using control on the way up and down, make sure those abs are on fire the whole time. Good job. Breathing through it. We're doing awesome. 10 more right here. Here we go. Last six. And five. Four. Three. Excellent challenge for our balance, too. Last two. Final one. Good work, guys. Next move, we've got a little Russian twist. With or without the weight, we can come down and just have kind of a nice, supported V. So that means tops of the thighs and into that torso, just make a little V. Heels can be down on the mat, chest is nice and lifted. Here we go, little sweep, side to side. If you don't have a weight, you can just squeeze the palms together in a nice controlled prayer pose, just energizing through those arms. Good, so notice if your back starts to round while you're here, do your best to pull that core in and keep the chest really lifted, maintaining that little V. Good. Now see if you can deepen that twist a little bit by taking the elbow back behind just a touch farther. Good. Chest is lifted. Arms are sweeping. You're doing so well. Breathe through it. 
just one more exercise after this and we repeat them all once and that's it good job here we go last four and three last two last one amazing work guys we're going into our last move little roll up with or without the weight we're gonna have those arms up overhead and do kind of a Pilates roll up as we come up. So let the arms, the weight if you've got it, lead you up. Sitting up nice and tall so the spine kind of rounds until you're to that seated position. Little reach forward, and then stack the spine again. Begin rolling, scooping the belly all the way down, good. So lifting with control, lowering with control. Right here, round, 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 round. Feet start to flex, spine gets nice and tall and then we reach forward. Amazing, same thing, stack the spine before we scoop and exhale it down. Good, I like to energize through my feet by either flexing or pointing the toes. I find that a flex here makes a little bit more sense because it kind of grounds your heels down, keeps you from slipping too much on the mat. Good job, so the name of the game here is slow and controlled, letting that spine stack before you reach. You're doing amazing. Scooping out that belly. Beautiful, lengthen up overhead. Good work, stacking the spine tall before we reach forward and then coming back to that stack before we scoop. So good guys, two more. Just like that, getting stronger. Each time we do it as we become more familiar with the move. Amazing, here we go. Last time, squeeze the quads. And reach, good job. Come back to that upright position and exhale it down. Beautiful, guys. Here we go, one, one time through. Oh, I guess we can have that weight if we want for that little lunge and twist. Here we go. Second time through, taking that little lunge and just squeeze back to the lunge, switch legs. So adding that additional little lunge back just gives you a little bit more low body bang for your buck. Good job. Nicely done. Sometimes you decide even to take a day off and then you realize mid-afternoon you've got energy for a little something, but maybe not a commitment to a full 45 or 60 minute workout. This is perfect. Good job. Nice deep breaths in and out. Just alternating keeping that chest lifted. So good, you guys. Hopefully starting to feel a little bit of burn. Now see if you can make these last few really intentional with that twist at the top. Good. You're doing amazing. Super lifted, controlled chest. Give me two more each direction. We're almost there. Beautifully done, last one each side. Nice guys, excellent work. Next time, or next exercise is that standing crunch. We can start with the opposite leg this time. Just take your arms up into the side, lift with control, good. Bringing that elbow down just a bit, making it mostly about that knee lift. I want you to feel those obliques engage right there. Big squeeze as you bring the knee up. Remember, lowering with super control. You've got it. No weight's even needed. Just adds a little bit of extra resistance if you want it. You could even use something heavier like a 10 or 12 if you're really feeling it. Good job. Amazing work, you guys. Feels so good to really work that core. This is working our entire waistline, not just those front abdominals, but those transverse abs, the core that runs all the way around our waistline. Good work. Give me five more right here, five and four. Good job balancing on that standing leg. Last three, two, final one. We're gonna skip right into that other leg. Here we go, lift and lower again knowing that the center for our balance is right in that core. 
which is why I love to throw balance work into core stuff. Good job. You're doing amazing. See if you can power through this last time, last side by lifting the knee even higher, making it even more intentional to lift that knee. Good work. Good job. You've got to keep balancing, keep pulling that belly button into spine. Now think in your mind's eye of how strong you're getting that waistline, how toned, you're doing awesome. You've got it, eight more. Here we go, last six. And five, four, three, two, final one. Good work, guys. Two more exercises left, that's it. We're gonna come into that nice, supported V position, super lifted chest, heels plugging down into the mat, and add that little sweep, almost like you're rowing in a canoe. Good. Chest and gaze are super lifted, getting that little elbow sweep back, really making that range of motion count. Taking that effort all the way behind, really lifting through the chest, keeping as much as you can a nice strong V shape. Good job. Keeping the knees as still as possible. They're gonna move a little bit as you sweep side to side. But just doing our best to maintain that equal distance between the two. You're doing amazing. We're almost there. Good. Give me four more each side. Here's one. Two, keep that little sweep going. Three, last four. Excellent work, guys. Let's get it done. Last time through, last move. Reaching that weight or the hands up overhead. Get the spine nice and long. Inhale, start lifting with that weight round the spine until you come all the way up, flex the toes, reach forward. Good, inhale, lift, and then scoop the belly. Exhale down, squeeze the quads. Beautiful work, guys. Feel that length happen big time through the posterior chain, all the way through that back body, including the hamstrings and the back itself. Good job, rounding until you come up and reach forward, really lengthen. You can use that weight to even get a little bit farther in that forward reach stretch. Good, sitting up tall, reach. Awesome job, you guys. You are almost there. This is totally doable. Challenging, but completely accessible. Doing what you can, listening to your body, and just honoring where you are today. Excellent work. Let's do four more all together. Reach. Three more. Nice and tall. Good. Here's our final two. Last one. Beautiful job, you guys. Amazing work. That's it. That's all you got to do. I'd like you to come into just a gentle upward facing dog now, maybe starting on the knees. Feet can be up or down and just kind of stretch the abs out. If it feels good, you can lower those toes all the way down and just let the hips drop down, take the gaze up. Good work, press the hips up and back into your downward facing dog. Just kind of pedal those legs out and then walk the hands all the way back to the feet. Roll yourself up one vertebrae at a time rolling the shoulders back and down. Nice open palms. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. One more. You did it. Exhaling out. Thank you guys so much for joining me today.